Okay, oh, sorry. You caught me doing my training there. Well, welcome back. So, this is the last of our Fruits of the Spirit and probably our last Kids Connection like this for a bit. But don't worry, I will be putting lots of fun activities up on the website and some more videos for you to watch from another source. So there will be Kids Connection for you, but just not quite like this. So check the website out at thebeaconchurch.com forward slash Kids Connection. So today we are looking at self-control. But before we do that, slightly out of breath by those very short stretches but before we do that i am going to do one final magic trick for you so i have to move my one two three four bookmarks over here here i have a glass of water and just need to get everything ready over here here i have my cloth and here i have my coin now you can see that that is not a trick coin that is a real coin and this is a real glass of water mm. and this this is a real cloth okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this coin and I am going to oh my all oh, buttery fingers today I'm going to put it under there so you might need to zoom in so that you can see my coin because it's all a bit scrunkled under there can you see it there's the coin see the coin there okay so there's the coin now with my abracadabra magic skills i'm going to tap the coin now how many times do we think it's a good number let's do nine times for every fruit of the spirit ha ah, okay so we're going to go love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control going to drop the coin into the glass where it has disappeared ooey ooey enjoy today's song
hello again. I hope you enjoyed the song. So today we are looking at self-control as our last fruit of the spirit. So what does self-control mean? Well, shocker, self-control means controlling yourself. Oh, great one there. Nice and easy to remember. So what does self-control mean? Controlling yourself means controlling your thoughts, your words, your actions, so that they are good and helpful for yourself and other people. Yep, it's doing things God's way again and not our way. So self-control is about uh, making use of all of the fruits of the Spirit. Now, I'm going to pause the video here, or you can pause it, and let's remember all the fruits of the Spirit. So they are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. How did I get 10 there? I think I must have messed up on my fingers. There are nine. I hope you got them all right. Let's check out today's story all about self-control. Slapstick Theater, Paul's letter about self-control. This is Paul, oh, hey. who told people about Jesus in lots of different places. Yeah. Paul also wrote letters to the different churches that he had visited while he was away from them. In Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, he wrote to them about discipline. Hmm. He said, don't you realize that in a race everyone runs, but only one person gets the prize? Woohoo! So run to win. All athletes are disciplined in their training. They do it to win a prize that will fade away. Mm -hmm. But we do it for an eternal prize. Mm -hmm. So I run with purpose in every step. I'm not just shadow boxing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I discipline my body like an athlete, training it to do what it should. Whoa, whoa. Otherwise, I fear that after preaching to others, I myself might be disqualified. Paul wrote many more things to the Corinthians in his letters to encourage them and help to keep them on track as they learned more about God. Hello, I hope you enjoyed that story. I really liked that one because I think it was fun and encouraging. So I think that's a pretty fantastic way for us to end our series on Fruits of the Spirit. In fact, I liked the verses that they talked about so much. I want to read them to you again now. And they are from 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 24 to 27. And they are this. Do you not know that in a race, all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Therefore, I do not run like someone running aimlessly. I do not fight like a boxer beating the air. No, I strike a blow to my body and make it my slave so that after I've preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the prize. Now, I am not sporty in any way shape or form in fact the couch and i are very good friends but i always enjoyed studying so i do know something about a different type of training training my mind so i think i know a little bit about training and perhaps you're super sporty and you know about a different type of training or perhaps you're an amazing dancer and you know about practicing really hard or you play a musical instrument and you practice every day until you get better and better Self-control is like that. The more you practice it, the better it becomes, the easier it becomes. And that's about using all of the fruits of the Spirit together. And it is not easy. If you're super 
sporty and it's raining outside, do you really want to go for a run? If you're really tired, do you really want to practice the piano? And if you're really into learning your lessons, do you really want to study when something good's on TV? These things are hard and it's the same with the Christian way of life. Practicing peace and patience and kindness and gentleness, that's quite hard work. And you know what? bad news is that in the Bible it says that it's even harder to be a Christian. But the fantastic news is, what does this Bible verse say? It says that we run for a crown that will last for eternity. And that crown is knowing Jesus and God forever. And that is worth the training for. Now, maybe you're someone who gets angry easily or just thinks this whole of idea of training and working hard to become more like Jesus just sounds a bit too tough. Well, good news. In the Bible, in Mark chapter 10, verse 27, it says all things are possible with God. So if you keep praying through your anger or if you keep praying through with times when you feel lazy and don't want to do stuff, God is there to help you by the power of his Holy Spirit. Now, it might seem that this coin, this is just a 1P, is too big to fit and is impossible to get through this hole in this paper. But with God, God sees things in a different way and he gifts us with his Holy Spirit and... Let me pass that through. He makes it possible for us to do these things. So pray for God, to God next time you're having a difficulty with self-control and he will be with you. Have a fantastic week.